If I'm standing like this before you today, it's not to look like a samurai. This is just very comfortable. I want to give you some news about some uh, health issues I'm having. I'm also going to talk about the Metroidvania game, Manakini, our 3D character that's coming up, Power Sequencer, and that should do the trick. So, right now I'm having some issues with my skin. I get urticaria, if you know the thing, bruxism at night. I'll pass you the details, I'm just living next to a busy road. So I'm going to take a bit of rest over the next few days, but if you keep a track of the Metroidvania repository, you can see that we're making progress. And we're making good progress on the Metroidvania game. We're getting close to the having all the features we want to cover on the larger version of the course and as a result we will soon be able to start video production. The plan is already in place for the topics that I'm going to teach and you can find all that on GitHub. Uh, as I said before, this is free and open source. We are really open about the creation process. You can track the development there. The project is getting more complex than planned because we had some teaching goals. We want to show you how to make really flexible code so that you can make games and systems that can scale code that will not break or that will be easy to change when the design requirements of your game change which they do all the time. You want to add a new mechanic, add a new move to the character, you want to modify the AI, the levels, the whatever. Every time you make a change, your code needs to adapt to that change and you want to use certain patterns, certain best practices, let's say, to do that efficiently in the long run. Teaching that is very hard. This is something that I tried to do in the previous course. We are going to do it better this time around. And this is why the project is taking a bit of time. Quality comes first and we make the content when we are ready to make it. The entire process is open. We have a Discord channel dedicated to that. You can get in touch with us. That's it. I, I don't have anything else to say. Uh, let's see. Say hi to Manakini. It's our 3D character, the mannequin for Godot. When I say our, it's yours as well because it's completely free and open source. It's made in Blender 2.8. It comes with a few animations and we will also design in Godot. But it has a few animations that we still need to process and to adapt so that they work well in game as some are designed more for some AI like the jump, for example, with a bit of anticipation, while well, for a playable character, you will want to chop that up. This is the work of Luciano Munoz. Munoz? Please tell me Luciano if I say it right. He's a professional animator and it's been a pleasure to work with him. The character is going to be available for everyone to improve. If you're an animator and you want to contribute new animations, you're welcome. Everyone is welcome to do whatever they want with that character, which is available under a permissive license. There are good news on the Blender sequence side. There's a maintainer who's been doing great work improving the sequence editor and the Blender team has improved the interface and there's a Peter Fogg and William Raich, I think. There are a few contributors who are active around the sequencer right now. I want to join them. I'm still working on Power Sequencer, our add-on, but the idea is from the next version of Blender, aiming for 2.81, we'll be able to contribute new tools using Python code. Power Sequencer being all Python, I'm looking to adapt some of these tools, the ones that the developers want to see included in Blender for Blender itself. Power Sequencer 1.3 is around the corner. Uh, this is a free and open source tool and I'd like to ask some help to make a changelog for the next version and to check the, the manual, the documentation, what needs to be updated can check the GitHub issues, link in the description below. I'd be really thankful if one of you was willing to help. And that said, be creative, have fun, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.